Hi guys, welcome back. As you can tell, I've already started putting decals on this Tamiya BF109. And let me say a couple things about the decals. One is they're, they're very thick and glossy. And I got really nervous at the beginning of the build when I used the instrument panel decal. And I also, even though I'm going to have the pilot in there, I was going to um, use the seatbelt decal just to see how it looked. Um, if it was something I wanted to keep in the plane. I noticed right away when I, when I went to move the decals from the backing sheet onto the instrument panel, right away it tore really easy. And same thing with the instrument panel decal. It broke in, it broke in half like super easy. Just And I don't, you know, I'm really careful with decals. I usually make sure my finger's wet or I use, uh, you know, a paintbrush or something to move the decal off of the sheet. So they, they tore really easy. So that was uh, a, a red flag. So I hit the decals with a couple of light coats of Tester's Decal Bonder Spray. Uh, great stuff. And the ones I've done so far, uh, no tearing, no ripping, nothing. Uh, it really did a nice job. So this is highly recommended if you have some old decals or you're you know, concerned. One of the tips I want to offer that I'm going to start doing more is at the very beginning of a build, get a decal that you're not going to use. Maybe it's a different scheme or um, if there's extra decals on the sheet or in the case of this decal set, there, there are decals on here that they're just labels, you know, manufacturing labels. This is the E47 Tropical. Also down here at the bottom you have um, some Tamiya information. Uh, these are all decals. They're on the sheet. So I'm going to use that and just see how they do. And if they tear right away, uh, then I'm going to make sure I hit my decal sheets with some uh, decal bonder. I don't think a gloss coat would work too, but this is pretty good stuff. Okay, and so then I um, wanted to know, being they're kind of thick, I wanted to know how they would conform uh, to the model. And these decals I've done so far right here on the sides, uh, I haven't hit with uh, I haven't hit them with Microsaw yet. Um, I do use uh, Microset um, to you know lay the decals down and then let them dry. <clears throat> but I did do the ones on the back, or excuse me, on the um, underside of the wings and I just put one coat of microsol on them to see how it would do and as you can see I don't know if you can tell that they they are conforming nicely they you can see the the panel line through there you can also see these uh, round areas on the decal and uh, okay and same thing with this one the, the you can see it went down into the panel line um, I can't I can't really feel where the decal you know you, if you just kind of rub your finger across it's it feels pretty even the decal with the, uh, the plastic and um, so I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up but I'll keep doing this and there is a there is a decal for the uh, white tail band, but I used uh, I painted that I just masked it and painted it with uh, Tamiya XF2, and I thought it came out really nice. Uh, I <clears throat> didn't know how the you know of course wasn't sure about the decal, so I just uh, painted that on there. It looks pretty good. Um, the yellow. Uh, I didn't have uh, I didn't have the RLM04, so I just used uh, Model Masters in, in doing really well. So I'm going to continue working on the decals, and then I'm going to come back and uh, show you what I'm going to do as far as any you know weathering.